Okay, hi, this is Michael Ellis. Um, I'm trying out a, a new um, idea. Um, since my, since my, like, uh, which one call it? Um, since my uh, do it yourself um, LED uh, build LED array um, didn't exactly uh, work as well as intended. I got a different idea. Um, it's not like a, like a grow light or anything like that, but I really wanted some, some intense uh, light uh, for, um, for my plants. So I wanted more of a, um, more, more heat or more intense light than you'd get from like a, uh, like a LED fluorescent light. Cause, um, we tried that, uh, with like our tomatoes and peppers and stuff and they just got stunted and, you know, um, we had to end up going and getting some tomato plants from my brother and, uh, we'll have to end up getting some from from a nursery because uh, it, it was basically they basically went went stunted and the other ones died off so um, so that really didn't work um, but I got an idea um, if, because when you when you plant plants you want really intense light you know to mimic sunlight so um, but you want LEDs because you want it to be fuel uh, 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 well uh, energy efficient. Uh, and you want it to run like off, like, uh, like in my case, I wanted it one, wanted ones that would run off a 12 volt battery. So I could see, oh, sorry, my alarm went off. Um, so if I could see if it would, um, run off a 12 volt battery, cause then I could power it with my, um, with my, uh, with my, uh, prototype energy systems. So I got the idea, use headlights. Because, um, like, car headlights, um, you know, run off the 12-volt battery in your car. Uh, that's, um, you know, your car's, car electric system is basically the 12-volt battery, the car battery. And um, it's running off of that. So, so I got the brilliant idea to use LED car headlights. As you can see here, I have two of them. I bought two of them. And look at that amazing light. They're super bright. And it's not even on the uh, not even on the bright lights. It's just on the lower lights. The only thing is they get really really hot. You know, well, actually that's not too bad. Um, they do get really hot, so um, that's the only downside. So it'll help if it had like a fan or something because you know when you're driving in your car you have a lot of air current. Um, so that's not an issue when you're driving, but when it's still, um, they get really hot. So um, so that's the only issue is the heat thing. So. Um, so yeah, but um yeah, they run off a of, you know, twelve volt batteries stuff fine from my experiments. Um and uh yeah, um you know like you know, like the DC wiring and everything works fine. You just gotta make sure to tape up the harness uh where you connect it to. But yeah, a really bright light, you know, so hopefully my plants will grow under that and not, you know, go all leggy and die. Um so yeah, so yeah, it works really good. Um, so yeah, um, you know, just turn it off at night, you know, so, so they get some darkness to, you know, re, re-energize, uh, for the day. Sorry, my alarm went off. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, I don't know, I just wanted to share that, cause, you know, it was really, it was a really cool hack idea I got. Um, and, and they weren't very expensive. Um, you know, car parts, you know, run, run the range, art are generally not very expensive, um, if you just get the generic ones, you know, um, so, so yeah, so I just wanted to share that, you know, it's a, it's a cool idea I had, uh, cause, you know, like, grow lights for, um, for, like, uh, plants can run, run very expensive, um, but yeah, I just wanted really intense, intense light, so I thought, why not use headlights, LED headlights, so, um, so yeah, and they're, you know, really bright, and, they work awesome off a of 12 volt power supply. So, so there. Okay, thanks for watching. This is Michael Ellis.